Um, and I think it's I think it's critical for any small business owner that has ever complained about the ability to hire and the ability to and, and the skills of the workforce and the skills of new grad and things like that. And this is a super common topic to complain about. I think that any business owner who's complaining about that needs to go and do a program like this because this is the bridge. This is how you start teaching not just these students, but you also start forming you know, the advisors and the professors and the people that are going to keep this on going, get that exposure. And you've got to be, you can't just complain and then assume someone else is going to fix the problem. You got to get in there and do it. And part of that will be a feedback loop that will help you really understand what do you actually need and how does it work and what's going to make your business better? And how do you, it's easy to just complain, you know, hand wavy complaints about, oh, well, colleges are, are inefficient. Well, okay. But why and how and what do you do and all that kind of stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that, that's why I think I think it was valuable. It was useful in my mind, not because they gave me ideas that I needed to execute or that I needed to do, but it reinforced what are the problem areas in the business. So I know that when I'm thinking about my business on a day to day basis, I'm. It helps me focus on what are the biggest issues and factors that we've got to be able to make sure we improve stuff. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like every business owner also needs somebody to tell them like, this is something that's could be improved. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We think that we think it's all going good. And, and like you say, we, we think it sounds great when we go out and say, Oh, I want an entrepreneurial um, hire, but in reality, you know, maybe, maybe it's a little bit better to frame it uh, in a different way. And I guess we talked a little bit about this, but if we had to like sum it up into, you know, a couple of sentences, why do you recommend this service to others? It is an excellent way to support the institution and support the education of people so that we can have a better educated workforce because business owners always need better educated and better trained workforce. And the only way to do that is to be part of the solution. Second, as a small business owner, it is taking the, you're so busy working in your business that you almost never take the time to work on your business. And this is an excellent way to force you into working on your business and explain why you're doing the things you're doing and try to communicate those things, those things that seem so concrete in your head when you actually have to articulate them to a third party, all of a sudden they don't get nearly as concrete as maybe you thought they were. Um, and so maybe, and so it's a really good exercise to make sure that you're being that acting like the business owner and not just a person that's grinding through your business. Well said, well said. And, and how did it end up going with you? I mean, were you able to, you know, improve on some of your hiring processes and communication, you think in the, in the long run? Or still some work to be made for you? No, there's definitely more work to be done, but I, I think it was useful. Um, and I, I, and we'll definitely work on that going forward. Um, what I'm going to try to, one of the things that, one of the things that struck me is the way to do the training thing that I'm now thinking about is we need to hire sooner um, because we wait so long to hire that it's not that people need more training. Um, it's that they really need more experience in how we operate. And so we keep assuming, hey, listen, we're going to bring you on and then you just get right to work again. We need a longer ramp up period. And so we need to be planning our pricing, our staffing, our scheduling, things like that around the fact that like, listen, if I need an employee in June, I need to hire them in March. So they've got two months to kind of hang out and be unproductive. And from my standpoint, just knowing that you're going to be, you're going to be overpaying this person for two months while they just get their... Well, they just get their feet under them, right? And figure out what's going on. Um, and because the rate of pace and the rate of change um, is so fast in our business and it's much, much faster than, than even we realize on average. And so we have to make sure that we give people time to, if they walk in, they're going to need time to start jogging before they can then start running with us. 